English 110 Technical Writing ABCs of Technical Writing A for Accuracy Technical writing should be accurate. The use of precise words, coherent sentences, well-developed paragraphs and a balanced report are needed. B for Brevity Technical writing must be concise, straight-to-the-point type of writing. C for Coherence it refers to the logical agreement of sentences, paragraphs and groups of paragraphs. Transition from one thought to the next is done smoothly and consistently. Confidence. You yourself must have a solid conviction in your report or else, your readers will sense sign of credibility problem. D for dignity. It refers to terms used in technical writing conveying formality. Avoid using contractions. E for emphasis. You have to identify the points you want to stress. Make your report forceful. F for facility. Report writing depends more on pacing, sequence, arrangement and connections to achieve smooth flowing easy to read continuity. G for grammatical correctness. Incorrect grammar is the bump that disturbs the smooth flow of words and ideas in any written work. H for honesty. Proper documentation must be used. A technical writer must acknowledge his sources. I for illustration. The use of graphic materials is very useful in technical writing. J for judgment. The writer must make sure that the data gathered will hold up under close scrutiny. Quality over quantity. K for knowledge. The communication of knowledge is one of the chief functions of the report. It is more than a collection of data for it involves interpretations and formulation of conclusions. Without intelligent interpretation, data will remain useless. L for logic. The process of showing the relations among groups of things and classes of group is logic. It is a process of classification, putting things in their proper places. M for mechanical neatness. A report should be neatly typed and well margined so that it will be easier to read. Headings, subheadings and indention are mechanical devices which help to make the organization of the content clear. Your report must then be clean, free from typographical errors and erasures. N for normal procedure, refers to consistency in the style or format used that makes the paper easier to understand. O for objectivity, avoid the use of first person in order to give the impression that the work being reported is a team effort or a company activity. P for planning, you need to have a clear idea of where you are going to end before you begin writing. Q for qualification, is determining the validity of your report given a specific time frame and the surrounding circumstances. R for revision. It is the most important phase of technical reporting aside from planning, designing, rough drafting. S for straight sentences. In a good report, each paragraph begins with a straightforward statement of its subject. T for thoroughness. The writer constantly checks and rechecks data gathered and their subsequent interpretation to make sure that there are no conceptual and grammatical errors. U for unity. In writing is like the clothes one wears. They should look pulled together to avoid being an eyesore. V for veracity. Refers to written works or information that can be verified because they are factual. Viewpoint. It is the perspective from which something is written. W for word choice. Avoid pompous, vague and ornate words. Be precise as you can. X for extra. You have to give extra effort to bring success on your report. Y for you point. Involves writing for a target audience. Consequently, the writer's familiarity with the target audience, their level of comprehension, dictates how the writer will write the report. Z for zest. Write only when you have something worth saying and write as though you were performing a service that only you can perform. Thank you for watching. Like, share, comment and subscribe.